Good evening. Today I'm going to show you how to, you can test driven develop a simple class. The class that I'm uh, going to demonstrate is a rental class. It's about renting cars or bikes or rooms or whatever you can uh, rent. I've made a plan for that and the plan is actually part of the specification and the, which is a good idea. You start writing your tests from a specification. Specifications say what the object should do in what circumstances what uh, kind of data it should contain, and so on. In this uh, case, I'm using two classes, that is the rental object itself, and one object I use to provide a cost for a rent, because typically uh, a car of different brands or different sizes have different prices, so I want this cost to come from the rental item instead of from the rental itself. This is what I will be using in my test-driven development of the rental class. Test driven means that you start writing a test and you do that in the test package part of a project. In here you see I have a test package, uh, test packages and inside there I have a rental package which is the same package as I have in the source package. So let's go ahead and start to make a new unit test. I did this before and you can see I have a green test before because of it. I tried it uh, beforehand. So let's uh, simply do that and uh, make a test class. It's a good, practi good practice to name uh, the test class after the class that you're about to test. In this case, I'm going to test rental, so the test class will have the name rental test. Now, NetBeans will uh, create a test class for me. It will add some additional stuff, it uh, thinks I might need, but in this case, I really don't. And the first thing that you can do is you write a unit test. And this unit test is very simple. It's a test method, and uh, the name of the method is not really important, uh, but it needs a test annotation. I'll change the test method into test get cost for, for one day, because that is what I'm about to test. So the test is test get cost for one day. A test method is typically setting up the object that you want to test, that is create an instance of uh, the class that you want to test, then uh, set up the proper values into it, and then do an interaction with it. In this case, I will call the getCost method, which doesn't exist yet, but I can test it anyway. That is, I can, help, uh, can use NetBeans to make the test class for me, uh, at, at least the re uh, created method for me, from the test that I will be writing. Now, from the plan, we see that um, a test object has, uh, the, the rental object has two fields, two date fields, of course, also a field called rental, of type rental object uh, item. And uh, what I decided to do is leave all kinds of details like uh, customer and such things out because it doesn't really help uh, uh, th this demonstration. So let's uh, go ahead. Um, first of all, create a rental item, simply call it like that, and you see that uh, uh, NetBeans says, hey, this type is not known to me, so it's red, but I can help you because it provides three ways to resolve this problem. One is to create a rental item in the test packages, which is something I could do, or create an inner class inside this rental test class, which I also could do, but I prefer to make this uh, rental item class in the source pack packages, so in this package. Let's go ahead and you see that it has been created. Again, this stuff can be removed. And this is now against the plan, um, not a, uh, an interface, but is a class. But it's very easy to, uh, to change that, because if I click on this rental item, I can make this into an interface, which then satisfies my original plan. Now, once I have this interface, I can, uh, in, uh, I can at least declare a field or a local variable with that uh, type. And I can also, I can also uh, in instantiate um, um, such a rental item. Rental item. And you'll see that NetBeans, when I do uh, press control space, it does the actually the right thing because what it will do, it will insert two curly braces at the end of the new constructor, because we all know that from an interface you can't create instances. 
this is the way that you can you can simply add the two curly braces and you have uh, an anonymous class which uh, from which you can get uh, an instance then the two dates the local dates start date is a local date let's simply do a rental for today which is simply specified like this and if i type my types correctly and let uh, netbeans import make an import statement for the local date type the same thing can be do for sorry that's a uh, wrong way of uh, controlling netbeans uh, an end date and let's uh, make this end date uh, start day plus one plus one day and that will give me oops that will give me a rent of one day simple enough now i'm almost done with setting up my class now i have the three param par parameters or the fields that i want to put into a rental object and i can construct such a rental object you'll see there is no rental object yet uh, so NetBeans will complain, obviously. Um, I call the instance uh, of the rental object rental, and I will we'll, I'll, we'll create a new rental object, tall object, and pass in the three parameters that I've just created, like item, comma start date, and the end date. And now you'll see that, well, NetBeans is again not very happy because rental is an unknown type up, up until now but it has a red bulb and we can see what it provides it provides to create a rental class in the uh, test package same thing i don't want that i want it in the source package i could also have netbeans con uh, create a constructor in the rental package in the inside the class rental so let's choose this one now what you'll see is that it will create a class with the proper name but it decides to make it public i don't want to have it public yet i will only make it public when i satisfy with my solution yes create this uh, this class so now i can uh, create uh, objects from that but i don't really use these uh, parameters yet so next step is to ask this rental object what the cost of the rent is and um well, what I expect is some integer value, expected, uh, which is equal to 1000 cents. And what I do is I type it like this, so it's very easily uh, recognizable as 10 euros or 10 dollars or whatever currency you have and is expressed in cents or expressible in cents. Um, I can also compute the value or let uh, the, the rental object compute the value actual compute the value by simply asking the rental object to compute is its cost so like that again netbeans will say there is no get cost method i'll tell them netbeans make one for me so that i don't have to do the typing um, let's save this object what you what you see in this case and just uh, before in the other case of the constructor it not only creates a body, but also inserts a, um, an exception throwing statement because it wants to warn the, the programmer that the code hasn't really been implemented. Let's go back to the constructor and save all the values that, uh, that um, the, the constructor receives and uh, let NetBeans create fields uh, for that. Um, oh, I made a typo here. I keep doing that. This uh, this dot start date equals start date. Oh, and this dot end date equals end date. And that's about it. Once again, there's some help from NetBeans uh, to create these fields and. Uh, well, you've seen that the local date, uh, local both local dates get a final attribute. I want uh, my item to have that as well. And then 
the cost uh, method, uh, it insists on returning an int value. So let's, let's simply choose some int value like uh, zero, which is as good as int value as any. Then go back our, to our test class and verify that the test is actually the thing that we want. So insert a JUnit test and uh, complete the message uh, value. This message will be shown when the expected value and the uh, actual value don't match. Notice the order in this uh, version of JUnit, JUnit 4, the order is expected first and actual at the end. These, all these values, the message and the two values will be used when uh, things go wrong. Well, let's see what, what happens now. Run the test. And you see a beautiful red, which is good because the first time that you run any test, it should tell you by its red color that it finds an error. Otherwise, the test is useless. We don't write, write tests that find everything okay because that sounds a lot like uh, work that uh, is uh, not very productive. Okay, we have a red test, which is fine. Now, let's make this test pass. How do you do the computation of of the get cost. First thing you need to do is compute the duration of the rent of the rent, and you can do that by using uh, another class in the Java uh, Util Time Package. On the Java Time Package, let's see, it's the Java Time Package. You can see that over here. It's a sibling of local date, and that sibling is called period. Period, and that period has a static method. That can that can compare that can compare to dates, and it computes the date between the start date, including the start date, and the end date, exclude, uh, excluding. So it's a normal subtraction issue, if you will. So this is the one I'm already using, and uh, well, from the names that I chose, and well, maybe the smartness of NetBeans, it understands immediately what I want. Now you see that it wants uh, it wants that this this field this duration should be a period, but actually I want the length of that period in days, which is quite simple, because you uh, append another get days method and then it's satisfied. It says now okay I have a duration, and then the computation becomes uh, very simple because the number of days duration in days maybe that's a better ma method. Uh, uh, a better variable name, so let's rename that duration in days, and then the computation becomes uh, trivial because then I simply uh, do item dot get cost get cost times uh, duration in days, and that is what I should return. Notice that again I get a small uh, issue here, red thing because the item of type a real a rental item doesn't have a get cost method so what i should do is add that method inside our interface now it's provided and once i do that this interface now specify a get get cost method i have a new error inside rental test which is also okay now it says well you need to implement all abstract methods and one way to do that is simply let uh, NetBeans do the work and here again replace this statement uh, with something uh, useful. In this case, the uh, cost per day should be 10 euros. So that is the way that I specify things. And if all is well, my test should succeed. My test should be green. This is my recording for now. See you later. Bye bye.